XML is a W3C standard markup language for storing information. An XML transformation requires an XML file and corresponding stylesheet as input. The stylesheet is written using Extensible Stylesheet Language or XSL for short. This approach allows you to render parts of an XML file to a web page without altering the underlying information. Did you know that you can execute and debug an XML transformation using Enterprise Architect? Enterprise Architect 12 includes a new XML transform profile. This profile will allow you to transform and render an existing XML file. Use the new default document handler to ensure Enterprise Architect is the default editor for all of your XML and XSL files. This provides a far superior editing and viewing experience. Let's look at an example to see how Enterprise Architect can be used to debug and execute an XML transformation. How can Enterprise Architect be used to debug and execute an XML transformation? Imagine for a moment that we work for a recording company. Artist information is stored in an XML file and our goal is to produce a HTML report that clearly shows which artists come from the US and which artists come from the UK. The new XML transformation profile in Enterprise Architect 12 can be used to debug the transformation and generate a HTML report. Let's assume that the development team wanted to make some changes and broke the code. It is our job to debug the code and fix it. Enterprise Architect can be used to step through the code, identify errors, display output, examine variables, look at the call stack, and ensure the XML file is being processed correctly. On the left of screen is our XSL file. The style sheet creates a HTML page with a brief description and a table of artist information. The background colour of each table row is rendered based on the country the artist has come from. On the right of screen is our XML file or data. It contains a number of artists with UK artists like Queen and US artists like Bob Dylan and Dolly Parton. We do not necessarily want to publish all of the information in the XML file. We only need the report to display the CD title and the artist's name. Use the context menu on the activity to run or debug our transformation. Using the debug tools, we can step over each line of code using the system output and locals window, we can observe the results. The debugger indicates a syntax error on line 26. One of the developers has misspelled the word choose. Let's insert a breakpoint, fix the error and step through the code again. Now that the style sheet has been corrected, I'm concerned that one of the artists is missing from the report, although I clearly saw them listed in the XML file. So I'm going to step through the code to try and understand why this has happened. Looking at the top right of screen, each line of HTML code is being displayed in the system output window as expected. Using the locals window, we can observe the CD number and the CD title. I can see that CD 1 of 27 is entitled It's a Kind of Magic by Queen. I know that Queen are a UK based band and therefore will be rendered in grey. As I step through the code we automatically jump over CD number 2 without publishing a row. Like all debugging this gives us a starting point to investigate why the code is not operating as expected. If I examine the XML code, I can see that John Farnham is an Australian artist and is therefore not displayed in our report. No code has been written to handle this kind of exception, so I can modify the existing code to highlight the Australian artist using the colour red. So in this video, I started by looking at the default document handler and indicated that both XSL and XML files can be edited using Enterprise Architect. I've explained the underlying concepts behind XML transformation and demonstrated how to edit, debug and execute a transformation using Enterprise Architect. I've shown you how to modify a style sheet so that you can handle a new exception, for example, testing if an artist comes from the country Australia. I've outlined how you can use the call stack, the locals window and systems output window to 
Examine your code carefully and see how it works. At the end of this video, you'll be able to examine the new report, which will display US artists in blue, UK artists in grey and Australian artists in red. I hope that this demonstration has shown how you can create your own transformation and how you might be able to apply it in your own business or systems context.